Now to a story about an Australian's incredible devotion to Buddhism and the temples of Cambodia. In 2005, Paget Sayers was alarmed to find many of Cambodia's Buddhist temples locked up and abandoned. With a few dollars and some hard work, the Sydney man was able to bring new life to at least one of them. And now it's clear his quest to help one monastery in the country's south has opened not just the temple doors, but the hearts and minds of an entire community. Southeast Asia correspondent Karen Percy reports. Paget Sayer's spiritual journey began three decades ago. Here we go, watch out on this bridge. Three years ago, the path to enlightenment led him to Kampot province in southern Cambodia. Now the 78-year-old is grandfather to hundreds of poor children and adults. Here, those who are too poor to get a formal education or can't make the journey to the local school can learn the basics. There is no line in the budget for kids who were unable to come to school on a regular basis. If you can't come to school on a regular basis, you can't come to school. Some of the kids in these classes are having good time, but you, you'll notice when you go to the informal class that their head's down and they're scribbling away, they're learning full steam ahead, aged 12 to 20. Come on. A number of health and job. education programs are underway in this That's region. The they generally get their start here at the Cabal Romeo School. I think this is the most important thing we can do is give them the clean, healthy water instead of drinking that horrible stuff out of the ponds. Water was the first priority because the local wells okay. were tainted with arsenic. Go to your classroom, can you? Oh, very heavy. Uh. We're small, smart and, and lean. We can build another thousand tanks without increasing our operating costs. We just find a school where they're responsible, prepared to accept the responsibility of, of maintaining the tank, and then we follow up to make sure they do that. And um, so I think that's, that's, the, that's the encouraging thing, that, that the money's not going into a big black hole, it's going directly into the project. Now everybody's bottle, pull up, pull up, pull up. Good. Very good. Through He's his Sydney-based not-for-profit organisation, Paget Sayers has raised money for more than 1,000 rainwater tanks at 170 schools. Bye-bye. He never planned to start a charity. It was a chance meeting with the local abbot, Che Nu, that set a new course for the retired importer-exporter. What started as a project to assist the monks has blossomed into a half a million dollar project that stretches across four Cambodian provinces. That's why I'm always happy to visit you because you're always happy. <laughs> always happy, oh. yes. Always happy and the, the good heart and the Buddha story is to be happy. And always cheer me up, <laughs> always cheer me up, you do. When I think it's too hot or too hot, <laughs> you cheer me up. I won't let an alcohol. <laughs> yes, the floor, I know. You want a cement floor in the kitchen. Yes, yes, I'm happy. The men don't speak the same language, but seem to communicate with little difficulty. <laughs> oh, you're never grumpy, particularly when you get two lots of cement out of me. Two tons, no? Why? <laughs> <laughs> and you can see he's enthused the young monks. I mean, there were very few monks here three or four years ago. I, I will work yes, at home. Yes, yes. Yes. Some of the novice monks are among the many locals joining the after-school English program. Yes. He's the catalyst. Mm. And now we've got a thousand children learning English, learning sewing, learning computer, mm. not only here but in other schools in the province and, and in other provinces. So he's been the catalyst. So I'm the lucky one that's able to facilitate 
how good it is to feel that, you, that you're educating a thousand children on a daily basis. Cambodia is one of the poorest countries in the world and its government struggles to provide the barest of services. So individuals can make a difference. I go to school because I want to get a job in the future and I will work in a company. Drinking water helps to keep our bodies strong and healthy and smarter. I like learning mathematics in the Khmer language. Several times a year, Paget Sayers visits his projects. Today, 14 orphans and their foster parents are being given bikes. Oh, I am happy they gave me a bicycle so I can go to school every day. Go. While Buddhists strive for eternal life, Paget Sayers knows he can't keep doing this forever. One more. And so 27-year-old Cambodian Teng Sapal is running the day-to-day -day operations of the charity. They, they get they develop their life. They can come to study the same other student, like rich student, the same. They can they have the money buy something for the breakfast at the school. And they have some writing book, the same other student. They have ability to come to school then, no afraid with their friend. He too was poor as a child and is determined to help as many of his compatriots as he can. Paget Sayers set out to change the lives of others. In the process, his life has been transformed as well. Karen Percy in Cambodia.